Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I am talking about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S6, which will be a big smartphone whenever it is unveiled. So the Galaxy S6 is expected to launch sometime in 2015, but according to rumors, Samsung has already begun to design prototypes and models of their upcoming smartphone, and it will begin production sometime in late 2014 or early 2015. That would indicate that it will be about a yearly release cycle from the Galaxy S5 to the Galaxy S6, which does make sense because that's what smartphone manufacturers generally do. Now regardless of when it does launch though, the Galaxy S6 has a lot of features that it could add, so in this video, I'm just taking a look at what I expect to see in Samsung's smartphone based on leaks that we've seen, and based on what I think Samsung should add. So let me go ahead and start by talking about a design. The Galaxy S5 has been criticized for its lack of a premium feel, because after all, it is made of plastic, and it always just ends up looking pretty cheap. It's just honestly just about the rear shell and the design of the phone, the external design, nothing about the internals. And if Samsung could make the Galaxy S6 look more like the HTC One M8 or the LG G3, or more of a premium metal handset, I really think that would help improve sales. Now Samsung will probably opt for either graphite or silicon, and either one of those would be preferable to the polycarbonate that is currently being used. Now on the inside, Samsung is probably going to put a stronger battery into the Galaxy S6 because to be honest, the Galaxy S5's battery isn't that amazing. Sure, there are some really cool software features on the S5 that help take advantage of the battery and make it last a lot longer, but the actual battery itself isn't that great. Now at the same time, Samsung will also probably improve the processor to 64-bit to compete with Apple's iPhone line because there's a lot of potential in 64-bit applications for the future. Now Samsung's Galaxy S6 handset will also have at least a 1440 by 2560 Quad HD resolution and that would be given about a 442 pixels per inch resolution. Now, rumors do suggest that the Galaxy S6 will be launched at MWC, which is in March of 2015, and that would be just a little bit less than a year since the Galaxy S5 was unveiled. Regardless of when it's unveiled though, consumers in the USA will probably get it by summer of 2015, and probably the rest of the world will get it just a little bit after that. Now, the device will probably cost $700 to $800 unlocked, just like Samsung's previous phones have, and you know that does make sense considering what else Samsung is planning to pack into the phone. So Samsung also might add an iris scanner to the Galaxy S6. This was rumored for the Galaxy S5 originally, but Samsung just decided to put a fingerprint sensor in in the meantime, so I really do think an iris sensor could be incoming. Samsung could also make the Galaxy S6 fully waterproof and dustproof. The Galaxy S5 is somewhat waterproof and dustproof, but it's more resilient resistant, it can't take a, a full dunk, and you know, it doesn't last too long in the outdoors. If they could make it a more rugged outdoor phone, that would really appeal to people who do take their smartphones into the outdoors and like to use them as a GPS or other things that involve taking it out into nature. Now, the Galaxy S6 also, this is a really far out rumor, but it could have a flexible display. Samsung's been working on flexible displays for a number of years now, and you know, just about every Samsung phone that does come out is always rumored to have a flexible display. Personally, I slightly doubt it's going to have that, or even a curved display like some other phones that we've seen, but if Samsung does decide to add this, they might have a really killer feature up their sleeve that would take advantage of this unique design. Now anyways, that's about all we know about the Galaxy S6 for now. You know, it will definitely have very good specs, a good processor, you know, a lot of RAM, and a, a pretty nice design, but other than that, Samsung has not revealed too much about this yet, and you know, it is pretty early days to be speculating about the Galaxy S6, but let me know what you'd like to see in the phone in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!